This is a general love reading for Libra. A general love reading for Libra. A love reading for Libra. Okay, a reading for Libra. I'm going to get two shuffles. Okay, so a card for Libra's person, please. Okay, that's too many cards. Let's try that again. A card for Libra's person, please. Okay, so it's the Ten of Coins in reverse. And the King of Swords, okay. And now a card for Libra. The King of Coins, okay, it's the King of Swords, the King of Coins. And now a card for your person. Uh, it's Eight of Coins in Reverse. And now a card for you. It's the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. And now a card for your person. Okay, I'll take this as well. So it's the Nine of Coins in Reverse and the Ace of Coins. <laughs> and um, a card for you, the Two of Wands. Okay. And now the shared mutual feelings between the two of you. Wow. The high priestess. Okay. Someone's listening to their intuition. And it's the eight of wands. Okay. So. Um, your person got the ten of pentacles in reverse with the king of swords. So I feel like your person wants to communicate something to you. Um, they don't seem like they're um, too happy here. Um, that's for sure. So they want to communicate something to you. And I feel like with the eight of wands for the shared mutual, um, feelings, it's talking about communication. So I feel like your person wants to say something to you. So if you look at the 10 of pentacles, they're all laughing, um, joyously, you know, they're, they're, they could be sharing a joke or there just seems to be like a ha happy atmosphere, but because it's showing up in reverse, with next to the King of Swords, and this is a like a kind of a grumpy King of Swords, this person wants to communicate something to you and possibly trying to communicate that they're not they're not quite happy. Um, something could be bothering them or they just you know, just they don't seem like they're happy in the state that they're in right now. And it's very well could be about this, you know, this connection. And I feel like there is a disconnect here. Um, or it just, you know, um, there could be um, very little communication, you know, and so this person wants to communicate something to you to speak their truth, okay? And then with the King of Coins, uh, you know, you could be focused on your stability here because um, I'm looking at it in conjunction with the Wheel of Fortune. So you could be focused on your stability, okay? Um, trying to um, create something for yourself. Um, and then they got the eight of coins in reverse. So this tells me that this person is, you know, really confused. They're in some sort of confused state. Um, they're trying to overcome some sort of disappointment. Um, but with the ten of pentacles in reverse, it just seems like, you know, they're not happy. And it seems like that's the case with the nine of coins in reverse with the ace of coins in the upright. So this person is not really happy being single or they're feeling kind of lonely. Uh, I'm picking up on the fact that they're feeling kind of lonely here. Um, they want to offer you something. So like I said, they do want to communicate something to you. But, you know, you could be focused on your stability and all that. Um, you know, creating roots. Okay, because you can see this tree, you know, with its roots. And then, you know, you have to make a choice with the Two of Wands as well. So you got that card as well, where it's talking about making a choice. Um, 
But when I clarify, I'll get a better understanding. But someone's really listening to their intuition with the high priestess, okay? And with the eight of wands, it's involving some sort of communication, okay? Very well could be your person wanting to communicate something to you. And abruptly, okay? Very swift communication. Hmm, let's start clarifying now. Now I'm curious. So let's clarify the Ten of Coins in reverse with the King of Swords. Okay, one more. All right. So let's clarify the Ten of Coins in reverse with the King of Swords. Okay, you want it to come out, and there we go, yes. So, uh, the Nine of Swords in reverse. So your person wa wants to communicate, uh, they don't want to be in this anxious state anymore. Um, like I said, there's a lot of confusion, there's disappointment. And then again, with the Ten of Coins in reverse, they just want to communicate something to you that maybe they're not happy without you, um, you know, because it was causing them anxiety. So if there was a separation of some sort, um, they're trying to get out of that ang anxious state. Uh, let's clarify. Oh, that wanted to come out. And what is that? The hair font in reverse. Okay, so you're trying to create some sort of stability for yourself here. Because I see with the hair font card, in reverse, there was a disconnect, okay? A possible separation, um, just a falling out. So this could have been talking about a commitment, okay? Doesn't necessarily have to be, but it was just, you know, talking about that you know you didn't feel stable with this person so you're trying to create stability for yourself here hmm so let's clarify the eight of coins in reverse and it's the hermit in reverse let me get another card for that Yeah, there's something that your person may not be realizing. Yeah. Okay, so I feel like your person, if they did communicate something to you and swiftly, it would be done out of impulse. Because I feel like with your person, they still haven't gone through this process of healing. There's a lack of enlightenment here. There's confusion. Your person seems to be highly confused, okay? Um, and they may impulsively try to communicate something to you because they're not feeling you know, they're not feeling good. They're not feeling, they're, ha they're feeling lonely. They're unhappy. So let's clarify um, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Yeah, you got the Two of Wands in reverse. So this is talking about choices. You having to make a choice. Um, whether it's to continue on with this connection, waiting for this person to sort of set things straight, to put in the work. Uh, you know, there's a call for you to make a choice here with a two of wands showing up twice, okay? So repetition here. So I don't think you felt stable in this connection or this person didn't offer you stability. So let's clarify the nine of coins in reverse with the ace of coins and temperance, okay? Uh, so I feel like your person um, feels like they could be happy with you, okay? Okay. Um, there's a lack of emphasis on themselves. So them making themselves happy and then coming to you right. So they're sort of feeling that um, you are the key to make, in, how do I say this? You are the key to make them happy. Um, they feel like they can achieve happiness uh, with you. You make them feel good. Two of wands, and there you go. So you could be confused about making this choice with the two of pentacles in reverse. So there's a lot of repetition. So two's talking about choices, choices that have to be made, okay? And when they come in reverse, they're usually talking about someone's confused about what choice to make. So that's your, I think that's more of a message for you that, um, that there, a choice needs to be made here. Okay. And then I'm thinking this is you with the, the high priestess and the four of pentacles in reverse. That, you know, maybe it's not a good idea to hold on to this connection so dearly. And I think your intuition is kicking in 
when it comes to this person here because I feel like they're they're sort of in a confused state about whether or what would genuinely make them happy um usually I say that if you're happy within yourself only then can you you know be happy with another person okay so this person it seems like they haven't put in the work and so there's a lot of confusion there but I feel like with them they're sort of thinking that maybe you could be um you could bring them happiness um because it doesn't seem like they're in a good place right now let's clarify the eight of wands Okay, so now it's the seven of pentacles in reverse. Again, con confusion about whether it is swiftly, you know, this person is struggling. They're, they want to impulsively um, reach out, but again, they're, they're surrounded by confusion here about whether they should do so or, or not with the seven of pentacles in reverse. Okay, so let's start clarifying with a different deck. <sighs> Because it seems like they're not seeing... So there's something that's missing. Their perception. With the Hermit card in reverse. With the Eight of Coins in reverse. And the Four of Swords in reverse. It's possible they're trying to temper themselves. They're trying to hold themselves back. That maybe being impulsive is not a good idea with the Temperance card. But it's like they're, 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 they're on, they don't want to be alone. They're feeling lonely here. So let's clarify the nine of swords in reverse for your person's energy. And there you go, the two of swords. So they are, they're tired of being stuck in this, this um, sort of anxious state here, okay? Um, they're very much stuck in their head, okay? Um, there is confusion here. They know they have to make a choice as well. So like I'm saying, there's a lot of twos, repetitive twos. Okay, the Two of Swords, the Two of Wands showing up twice, and now the Two of Pentacles in reverse. So let's clarify the Hierophant card in reverse, and the Three of Swords in reverse. Um, you could be getting over this heartbreak, okay, that this person may have caused you. Um, I really feel like this uh, Wheel of Fortune and the King of um, Coins, is you're trying to find happiness and uh, for yourself here, you're trying to achieve a sense of stability on your own. Uh, let's clarify the Four of Swords in reverse with the Hermit in reverse. And there we go, the Nine of Swords in reverse. With the Hermit in reverse, I have... Um, this is interesting stuff here. The Nine of Swords in reverse showing up twice and now the Hermit in reverse. Your person's... person is not very sensible is what I'm picking up on fortunately <laughs> they lack a certain sense of enlightenment here um you cannot rely on another person to make you happy okay you have to be happy within yourself you have to put in the work first before you can ach achieve happiness with someone else and I think you on the other hand are realizing that you know you have to create stability for yourself you have to create your own you know um positive things in your life here um and you know it's there's a actually a call for you to make a choice a decision wow the, i'm just totally taken aback by the two hermit cards showing up in reverse and the nine of swords showing up in reverse it's like a clear message that is just you know popping out at me and which i cannot ignore um at all <laughs> Uh, let's clear. Okay, so it's a six of wands in reverse. Yeah, so you have to make a choice about whether you want to move on or not. There could be some level of confusion. You may not want to, okay, given the fact that, you know, you're Libra, you're very generous, very loving and all that. Um, but it just, you know, you're, you, you do feel some sort of, um, you know, you have feelings for this person, but yet, you know, there's a choice about whether you should move on and uh, just go your separate way. So let's clarify temperance and there we go yeah the knight of swords and the ace of pentacles in reverse yeah your person's um 
there is confusion about whether your person uh, wants to reach out or not okay so they're really stuck in their head about it but i feel like um they could be holding themselves back okay um Your person's feeling extremely lonely, okay? There is a loneliness that I'm picking up on. Yeah, they have to figure some stuff out. Um, especially if... Two of Wands. Let's clarify this. And the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. So yeah, you could very well be focusing on work. You could be focused on money, stability, okay? Um, you know, you're in this, you seem to be very focused, okay? Um, but at the same time, I feel like this connection is still, you know, on your mind. You're still quite confused about it. But I feel like you're really trying to uh, create a, a, some sort of stable foundation for yourself. So let's clarify the High Priestess and Temperance in Reverse. Uh, yeah. Okay, so you're listening to your intuition here. Um, definitely. I, I think you're... Yeah, you don't, you're not holding on to this connection as... Um, like, you're, there's, a, there's a sense of wanting to let go. Okay? Um, interesting. Let's clarify the Eight of Wands with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. And it's the Ten of Swords in reverse. Yeah. Your person is not done healing. Uh, there's something that this person needs to heal within themselves. They need to put in the work. And it's not the right time for them to communicate. And I think there is an, a, somewhat of an awareness there. But this person may desire to impulsively want to communicate something to you. But your energy is different than them. Where you're trying to be sensible and you're trying to really create a stable foundation for yourself your person seems to be going through a lot okay and uh which requires some work that they need to put in and they get the hermit card twice in reverse so and then the four of swords in reverse so they're not really putting in the work there's a lot of things that they need to deal with first okay so that's my reading for you today uh libra i hope you got a better insight into your personal situation and i'll see you next time okay